Today, today, today. Today we're gonna be eating Mexican Manhattan. They offer private parties, riverboat uh, dinner cruises, riverboat cocktail cruises, boat food to go, and they have happy hour. So it says Mexican Manhattan is the proud home of the best mar margarita on the river walk. So like downstairs, um, if we go to the side of our building, we can walk down a couple of steps and be at the river walk. Um, also too, like when we had breakfast this morning, where we sat, we can look at people walking on the river walk. So it is that close. Um, we did walk around this morning um, down Sled or something around to, I think, Commerce, if I'm not mistaken. And then we hit Houston to bring us on back. But it says, join us for happy hour Monday through Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. in the bar or the patio. <coughs> Excuse me. All drinks are a dollar off and your favorite appetizers are discounted. So yeah, Mexican Manhattan, downtown's uh, finest Mexican restaurant. They said they've been around since um, 1958 or something. That's what my husband was telling me. And then this is just a quick view um, of their menu. So my baby got me some three. Let me go ahead. I got some Tabasco sauce, y'all. Some Tabasco sauce. Okay. I'm trying to get this camera set up so y'all can kind of see me. See me, you heard me? But I got some Tabasco sauce. I also have some um, Grey Goose and Nouveau. My baby brought me a bottle of Nouveau like over eight years ago. And I never opened it. I'm going to show y'all. Until this trip. So I'll probably just drink a little more. I think P. Diddy is the one that um, had it or whatever. But it's Nouveau. And it's been sitting for like eight years. So yeah. So... This is the actual food. I hope y'all can see it. I got like all the lights on in that room. They um, give you like this is pico de gallo. I think. I think my baby said this here. So. Leave that for him some salsa. He went to go get him some um, 
Oh, I guess this was too far to go, though. Or is this... No, this is the salsa. See me to see me out. And I'm sitting at this little table they got here. Well, Father, please bless this meal and allow to nourish my body. And please bless those that are watching today. In a special way. In Jesus name. Amen. So yeah. He went to give him some. Um, soul food. We been asleep all day. To be honest. We got up. Had breakfast. Um, so I got. I told him. Two beef. And one chicken. He brings me two chicken. And one beef. And this is even. Even. After being on the phone. Right then and there. And I heard him order it. But, but it's okay y'all. That steam coming off. Just going to throw this on here. A couple of tomatoes. Because I'm allergic to tomatoes. At least that's what they tell me. Let's try to get it popping. Mmm. 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 Watching um, New Edition Part Two with how um, Bobby Brown got kicked out of New Edition. Mm. Making a mess. Mm. 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 So that was the chicken. Y'all, I smashed that. You hear me? Mmm. Now I'm going to try the beef one. Mmm. It's just falling apart, y'all. I'm trying to have it, you know, presentable. But, um, it is good. Mmm. 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 
the salsa. My salsa, salsa, salsa. I took this from Denny's. I didn't steal it. Like, I had it in my hand. The guy here just brought us food and then we let him um, grab it. We was at the register. I had it. Mmm. 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 Look at that. Juice is flowing everywhere, y'all. Falling on the table. Dang. Mmm. And I got one napkin. Mmm. We'll show y'all, baby. Mmm. 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 My hands are off the drying. Pepper. I love that pepper. <clears throat> That's my favorite seasoning. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Cheers. Mmm, cheers to Cinco de Mayo. Mm. That is so good. That Nouveau mixed with some goose and some um some of that lemonade. Me. I'm the goose queen. Mm. So I guess man. they give you so much. bottle from Denny's. That Denny's was so good last night. I had got the steak with the um I just now started eating the uh, uh, excuse me sunny side up eggs. Mm. We going I always only ever ate scramble. But man that was good. Mm, mm. Mm. This is messy though. Every time I go to bite it, juice just run down my arm. Mmm. I guess now I'm just 
just gonna mix up this chicken and beef. Y'all, I feel like I'm a slob right now. Mm, this is so good, y'all. I really don't care for the um this salsa. I don't know the it tastes too too something. But the one in these little tins, mmm, they good. So I told my baby, I said, I thought we was gonna go see John Wick. But that come out May 17th. So, we got to change plans. We might just walk the river walk tonight for dinner. I've been to San Antonio before and went to like the Alamo and the different museums. So, really, I'm just chilling in the room. We downtown, so I'll just be looking out the window. <clears throat> and I'm peaceful. I've been watching, like I said, a new edition. I learned some stuff with that because I didn't know. But One thing I would say that I learned from this is when people trying to get over on you, they will try to make everyone see you in a bad spotlight. And especially if they're very influential, they can encourage those people to think the same way. So, I guess their manager name was Gary, and they thought they were signed with one company, but come to find out, they were signed through Gary under a different company name, Something Productions. So when he went to go see who they thought they were a part of, um, that's when they let him know, like, nah, do you, <coughs> you with Gary, but under a different name, so that was kind of wrong, and then, like, they were kids, so my parents, the mama was um like Gary, what's going on? Where the money? What the expense? He like expenses, but in the end, they got rid of him, and they had got rid of Bobby, but the company who they thought they were under. Met up with Bobby and was like, we had this clause. Basically, we can't really get rid of you if you are one that makes the group. So it was like, so what we can do is let you do your own solo album. And that's what he did. But he was doing cracking stuff well before Whitney. Whitney might have took him to a higher uh, collab of it, like being able to get more 
But she definitely wasn't the one that turned him on. He was already doing it. And I always thought that, you know, she got him hooked, but no. Y'all, I cannot believe I just sat here and ate these big ass burritos, three of them. And see, we doing a diet challenge at work. And this does not help. Mmm. Y'all. When I tell y'all that I clean this plate, I devoured this plate. And we ate this morning. And then, like, um, for a snack I had, we had got brought a um, Denny's platter to bring to the room. Because they got, like, a refrigerator and stuff. But, um, I had that. And then we was gonna go walk the river walk, and I was like, baby, can we just, uh, you go get me some food, and, uh, Skip up. So, I'm just here editing some movies. I mean, videos. Relaxing, chilling. Like, for real. And then, when, while we was driving last night, it was like rain. One area we went to, it was like, um, please take shelter, it's a tornado, uh, watch in your area. So at times when we were driving, that rain, and now I mean, we seen so many ambulances. It looked like there was like a wreck or something. So if you're ever in the area, which is um, downtown San Antonio on the Riverwalk, um, you can find Mexican Manhattan. Their phone number is 210-223-3913. And they've been established uh, since 1958. They do have fajitas by the pound, chicken for $15.95, beef for $19.95. You get um, six tortillas and pico de gallo, and that's the fajitas. They also offer um, party trays that can feed anywhere between 20 and 25 people. So they have that. And they got bulk food to go. They got tray of chicken for tacos. For a hundred and thirty nine dollars and then a tray of beef for tacos for a hundred and fifty dollars which serves 45 tacos you get the taco shells lettuce and tomato included damn but their their stuff is really high or um, big you seen it um, you seen it when I showed you how big they were. So yeah, I'm just about to um, go wash my hands, clean this little table up, finish watching um, um, New Edition. I guess it's to the point now, like Ralph wanted to do his own solo and then um they added i believe johnny gill so they added him and this is where we are now they doing their um they doing their 
little steps. But I don't want to get copyright, so um, I'm just going to show you that real quick. But yeah, <clears throat> I appreciate y'all tuning in with me today. I was kind of like all over the place. And at times, like sometimes I'll do that. Um, I just got out the shower, so I'm going uh, to probably put my clothes on. I got them laid out over there. My leopard print is what I want to wear today. Let's see if y'all can um, see. My leopard print is what I'm going to wear today. And then my little sandals up there on my suitcase. But yeah. So y'all. Okay. Let me. I'm just all over the place. I know I am. But guess what? Okay. So I've been learning how to do makeup. And I've been doing makeup for a while now. But um, I want to take it to the next level. Like to learn it professionally. So, um, for my birthday, one of my co-workers, she had brought me some brushes, makeup brushes, which that's what encouraged me to um, get my makeup kit together. And then one of my sister friends, she's a makeup artist, and like we had stayed together a couple of times. And um, like when we went out of town, we to Vegas, me and her were roommates, and then to Dallas. Shout out to Alexa. But, um, I seen her drive for makeup and that kind of just encouraged me like to want to do makeup more. So, um, the other day I was, it was like on a Sunday, I was just chilling. So I was like, let me put some makeup on. And I took one of the brushes in this eye. I was like cleaning my, um, brows and then you know how you'll kind of, um, You know how you'll um, brush out your little lashes or whatever. And when I went to do that, it like poked me in my eye. And when I tell y'all, y'all, that shit hurt it for two days on series. Like, I thought I was blind. And um, I didn't really trip. Like, the first day it happened, I had my face with makeup foundation just all of that so i was like okay i'm gonna take that off and then i'm gonna go to bed so i woke up the next morning and um it was oh it was hurting so i was like man i gotta make it to work i don't want to call off so i get to work just going through my day and like at times when i had to read disclosures I felt like I was going to pass out. Like, that's how bad it hurt it. And then, like, when I went outside to um, go home, I almost felt like passing out because that, I, like, I could not see going to my car. And it was so hard for me to drive home. I just prayed, like, Lord, Father, please let me make it home. I did my little updo, a little something, something for, for me. But yeah, um, I want to thank y'all for tuning into my channel today, Grub and Gina. I'm really um, pushing forward to keep this channel growing and going. Um, at times, I do feel like you know giving up because I don't know if I want to eat absorbing amount of foods all the time but I enjoy doing it you know so I'm gonna try to push through that but this video about to be 30 minutes long so I'm gonna go on ahead and sign off if you're new please hit the subscribe button down below next to the subscribe button you'll see a bell by clicking that bell, it notifies you every time that I load a video so you won't be in the dark. Um, also, you can share and like. You could comment on the video as well. 
Um, I am also on Facebook, um, Grub and Gina. And I'm thinking about starting to take pictures of the foods that I eat for um, prior to the video and upload them to my channel. I do want to do a lot of more seafood bowls and I want to do some more chicken. Um, fried chicken um, videos. I think that'll probably be my niche because I love me some fried 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 chicken. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, we're grubbing. That's me. I'm grubbing Gina.